Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose and in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys, I'm not gonna say review, I'll let you know why in a second. I'm gonna show you guys the Michaela Patu collection in collaboration with Glamlight. I had already filmed this video. I filmed it like maybe like four days ago or something like that. And the second half of my video has no audio. So I am here to refilm it. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. I've already reviewed it and to be honest, I love it. There are some misses though, but I will let you guys know in the video. It's pretty much just me reiterating how much I love this collection. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for Beauty and Lifestyle. Don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live and without further Further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I do have a new background. I may switch it up, I'm not quite sure. I have a couple spots in my new beauty space that I can have like a lifestyle background if I wanted to. So if this does get distracting, like this back here, let me know. I'm trying to figure something out. I do have to organize everything. I did buy the whole collection for $149. You get two eyeshadow palettes, two false eyelashes, two lip kits or lip sets, a four piece brush set, and highlighters now when y'all seen the highlighters oh my god like my first reaction was insane i already have my base on and i'm just gonna start out with an eye look so this is the eyeshadow palette here it's got all of the glitter specks in it now the gold in here or the little glitter specks they're a lot thicker than the original one this is the eyeshadow palette here i think it is absolutely gorgeous i love the all of the shimmer metallic like shades they are so freaking beautiful when you guys see these swatched oh my freaking gosh they're so beautiful when you look at the original here you can kind of see some similarities with the blues and the greens and that's pretty much it there aren't any browns in here i feel like the uh, metallics and the shimmers in this one i gravitate more towards this one's still a great one though i still use this one a lot we have 30 shades in here we have pressed pigments we have eyeshadows we have metallics now we're going to go ahead and do swatches i'll just Go ahead and pop it over here. The first row is glazed, sparkly, poppin, dreams, insane, and cloud nine. Second row, glitter, 11, 20, 21, gold AF, bro, stobbies, and beauty kills. Third row, 13, fall river, grateful, Cody James, the market, and the commons. Fourth row is Mama Wang, Pat Rice, Oh My God, Mimu, Batty, and Authenticity. The last row is I Love You, No Hash Lines, 2021, Wicked Awesome, You, and Black is Black. I'm actually really glad that this palette has a black in it because the other one does not have a black in it and I love using black to deepen the crease or just to do like a winged eyeliner or like smoke it out or something like that. I do have the brushes here. I have used them already. I absolutely love them. All of them do their job pretty much. Um, the only one that I didn't really like is the angled brush only because it came bent but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun after that. Y'all, I had the roughest day yesterday. I like wanted to film and I was getting ready to film. I had my base makeup on and everything. And you know, you know when the kids just don't act right. That was my day pretty much. That's why my eyes are like really red and puffy right now. So if I look tired, that is why. As you guys know, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I just like to play with makeup. So we're just gonna do it, okay? Don't make fun of me, okay? If this turns out bad, just don't just don't okay the first shade i'm going to go in with is 13 it is a pastel mint shade i'm really nervous i'm really fucking nervous the one thing that i love about the glam light palettes is that the pastels are actually a true pastel shade you can pack these on you can blend them on and they're not like do you see like how pigmented that is just by adding that little bit and i'm adding a little bit more and packing it on you can have it be as light as you want you can have it be as dark as you want but look like look at that that is insane i like to use this big brush as like an all over 
and I'll probably use it to like blend out all of my other stuff too, but I am gonna wing this out just a little bit. I'm gonna do the other side and do the same thing. Just gonna pack this on and then blend. I am gonna take the other brush. This is the 04 brush. I am, I wanted to go in with this blue shade, but I think it might be too pastel. So I'm gonna go in with 2021 and Wicked Awesome right after that, just to kind of like go through and deepen up the crease. Now I'm really, really scared because blues are really hard to work with for me really really hard so I really don't want to mess this up it's very blue I made it please don't fuck this up okay we'll just go in lightly I just know with blues you have to work with them differently and you have to pack them on rather than blend them in okay we're safe we're safe right now and then I gotta go drop off a package at my neighbor's house and I'm gonna be out here with this like crazy ass look I don't know why I laid down that green I guess I just wanted to try to use as many colors as I possibly could because you know, only using like three colors is kind of a waste on a video. So now we're gonna go in with a Wicked Awesome. It's the darker cobalt blue. <laughs> this is making me nervous. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Actually, this would be really cute just like winged out. Let's just go ahead and add this to the corner and act like a winged liner. I talk a lot when I get nervous. It's kind of annoying actually. I'm like one of those chatty Cathy's. Okay, this blue isn't bad. I think it's really cute. I'm blend this out a little bit more. Those two colors definitely disappeared though. I'm gonna go back in with this bigger brush, even though there's like barely any product on it, but I am going to blend the top out. I'm gonna grab this clean brush and I'm gonna kind of bring this out a little bit more. I tapped in just a little bit more and we're gonna add just the tiniest bit. I like to build my eyeshadows, especially when it's with a color that I don't use very often, even though I love blue on brown eyes. Okay, that's not too bad. If I can get that like super simple wing type look, I'm good to go. What I'm finding with these eyeshadows, these specific colors, is that they are a bit patchy, but I feel like once you start blending them out, it's gonna take some time to get them where you want them to be, but it will eventually get there. I'm gonna go in with Cloud9 and you. I'm gonna mix the two together, so it's gonna be very glittery. Um, I may go in with the black on the outer corner at some point I like I literally cannot I literally cannot with the shade is so beautiful so it's gonna go all over the lid with this oh my god <laughs> it is so gorgeous you guys oh my god I'm not gonna go in anymore I just went in with one swipe and I'm good to go I'm gonna grab just that much and we're just gonna go all over the lid oh my god Goodness, how can a shade be so beautiful? I love blue so much. From what I see, no fallout so far. Maybe just a tiny bit right over here. I'm gonna go in with cloud nine. It is kind of like a teal shade and put it in the center. Oh, that livened it up. <gasps> Even if it's just the slightest bit, I freaking love this. What I love about this palette so far is that there is like minimal to no effort when putting on the metallics. You literally just do like one swipe and you're good to go. So the blues are a little harder to work with. You just have to pack them on first and be willing to blend them out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line and I will be back to try on the other products. All right guys, so I have the lower lash line done. Now we're gonna get into the lashes. Lashes. I last went in with the high fashion lashes. I did cut these to my eye shape and they weren't my favorite, but because this look is so crazy, I'm not going in with daydream. Dreamer. So Daydreamer is a little lighter. Like I think this would be really good for like a natural day. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little bit more natural as where with high fashion. Oh, you can see there. There we go. You can see the difference there. High fashion is, has a little bit more volume to it than this one does. So I'm going to go back in with high fashion. Fashion. The band is a little thicker on this guy. There's a little bit of lift, not too much lift, but I mean good enough, I think. I'm gonna go in with my Pillow Talk mascara. I have not used this in forever, but I'm just gonna use this to seal the lashes. I'm not doing any eyeliner. 
So right now, as you guys can tell, I'm kind of struggling a little bit with these lashes because they're not, the band is so thick that it's really hard to lay it down. So those are the lashes. They're nice. They are a little bit more, they're a little heavier on the side than I would like, but I think it works well with the eye look. I have the lashes on. They feel really good. I feel like they look really good. They look really good with this look. And I did the lower lash line, all that. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into the other eyeshadow palette really quickly. So this is the 10 color palette. This one is very reminiscent of a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes packaging. It is that velvet type material. It kind of reminds me of like pool, like a pool table a little bit. Again, I've already swatched this before because I did this video before, but these are all of these shades in here. I love every single one of these shades. Now, the matte shades don't really do anything for me. They're just matte shades. Like they're good to just lay down the color, but shimmers always do it for me. And I love this chocolate shade here. This one is very reminiscent of the MAC Club eyeshadow or the black, no, the blue brown pigment. I really love this one right here too. This is really beautiful. So is this one though. This one's like a, not necessarily an emerald green, but you know, it's got like blue specks in it. I don't know. It just does something to me. I love it. So like I said before, if you guys do want me to do a few eyeshadow looks with this, three looks, one palette, let me know. There is that. Now we're gonna get into the highlighter. This is my most favorite part, as you can tell. Ugh, I'm like geeking out right now. This is the highlighter palette. We have three shades in here. These are all baked with Glam Light. All the products are vegan and cruelty-free. This packaging, it's really cute. You open it up through here, you have a small mirror, and you have all three shades. Now we have, it's not even picking up on camera how beautiful this is. This gold here is a little bit more chunky than I want it to be but I think it'd be really pretty with just no like just a very simple eye look but we have these two here and I love these I'm gonna wear the both of these today now the blue one is my favorite I love that blue shift that it has and then we do have this green emerald green shift oh my god these are the three shades here and let's see this is the blue <laughs> oh my god it's so gorgeous this is the green oh my freaking god and then this is the gold the gold is just it's to me it's basic but i feel like if i were to put it on it'd be a little bit more shimmer i'm gonna go in with the blue <laughs> i mean do you guys see that? But look at that. Oh my god, I feel like I belong like in the universe somewhere. I don't know. In space. <laughs> it's going to do this side. This makes my heart so happy. This blue is a little bit more purple tone, so it doesn't necessarily go with the eye look, but I don't really care. I love it. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Put a little bit on my nose, even though no one does that anymore, but that's fine. It'll kind of like tie the look together. I mean, come on, come on, come on. It is so freaking gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go in with the green here and I'm gonna add a little bit to the center. Oh, look at that. We're just gonna mix them. That mixed together, look at that. I feel like an alien. I love that. I'm gonna put it on this side. I mean, come on, come on. And what's nice about these highlighters as well is that it doesn't leave a cast. Ugh. I think I'm in love, you guys. I think I'm in love. To tie this look together, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter palette and go in right here. No one really does that anymore, but I'm still gonna do it because why not? Oh no! Oh, you f Friggin' biatch. Part of the highlighter just fell out. You know look at that. Ugh, you can barely see it, whatever. I need to figure that out because I'm not about to waste that little sliver there. I don't. Oh, look at that blue though. <gasps> Ugh. I layer the green on top of it. I'm gonna put on my Morphe setting spray. We're gonna go ahead and get into the lip sets. I am gonna go in with the one that I know that is not gonna go with this makeup look first. So the first one I'm gonna go in with is Golden Dreams Lip Set. This comes with a matte lipstick. I believe it's matte. It looks like it's a matte lipstick. I think it might be like a matte satin. Comes with a pencil sharpened lip liner. And then it also comes with a gold lip gloss. What's really cool about this is that you push the top 
and it comes out on the bottom. I still get really scared every time because I feel like it's just gonna fall out. So this is the color here. It is like a mauve pink shade. This is the lip liner here. This lip liner is a nice color. This color is kind of like a cool toned mauve. Liner itself is really nice. So far it's gliding on really well. It's not like, you know, a ColourPop or a NYX lip liner, but it still is a really good lip liner. And I do appreciate the fact that it's not retractable. And then we'll go ahead and go in with the lipstick. So the lipstick is literally the same exact shade as the lip liner, which is nice. Very, very pretty shade. It does tug a little bit, but it's not too bad. Now we're going to go in with the lip gloss. This does not have a smell. It just smells like, like an unscented lip gloss. So I don't want to ruin this. So I'm just going to go in with my finger. Oh, you see that? Do you see the gold reflect? That is pretty. Blotting your lips together, you can't really see the gold anymore, but it does warm up the lip just a little bit. This is really pretty. We're gonna try on the lip gloss by itself. It's pretty. The consistency is it's a little bit more on the oily side. It's still moisturizing, but it's a little oily. I prefer stickier and thicker glosses, but this is what that one looks like. Now we're gonna go in with Lucky Charm Lip Set. This one is my favorite. This lip liner, I will put it on and I will show you guys exactly what it looks like because it is really light. If you're anyone that is my skin tone, this lip liner is not gonna work out for you. This is only gonna work out for someone who has a fair skin tone. This is how it swatches. So it is very light. It, li it literally looks like <laughs> I'm putting concealer on my lips. I don't know, that looks so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in Gingerbread. Again, lipstick. This is really, really light. This is a good like, if you wanna lighten up your lipsticks. Again, if you're someone like my shade, you're gonna wanna blot this on or put on a little like I'm doing right now and blend it out with your finger. I am going to try this over top. Now this one is pretty interesting because this one, yes, it is more of a silver color. So it has a green reflect to it. Ugh. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. And I'm glad that I put the green on too. So as you can see, it kind of goes away a little bit when you blot these two together. Um, but what's nice about this, again, the green kind of neutralizes this even more. You can feel a little bit of the glitters, but it's not too bad. Now for the lip gloss. This is so cool. Now, again, I, I don't know if I would wear this by itself, I probably wear the gold one by itself. I'd wear it over any lipstick. All right guys, so we are done with the whole makeup look and trying everything on from the Michaela Pot 2 Glam Light collection. And I'm just gonna get into my top three favorites. I would say out of everything in this collection, the highlighter palette is 100% worth it. I believe it's like $18. I am not quite sure how much it is. I'll just pop it somewhere over here, but I just remember it being a fair price. And for all three shades that you get with the color payoff that you get. You can mix and match. You can use it as an eyeshadow. You can use it as a highlighter. You can use it all over your body. You can literally use it anywhere and it is totally worth it. Now mine did break, but I got it back in there. It looks fairly good. So we are good on that, but this is my number one favorite thing. Like this is the one thing that you guys had seen that I got really freaking giddy over. Okay. Like get this right now. My second most favorite item from this whole collection is obviously the eyeshadow palette. I love that you get 30 shades in here. You get a mirror. All of the shades are absolutely gorgeous. This one I would probably wear more of compared to the first one because the first one has an array of colors that I wouldn't typically wear on a regular day but these I would more so than the original palette wear on a typical day the mattes blended out really well even the blues with it being a little patchy it still ended up really really nicely and the metallics are gorgeous like they're so gorgeous like I I am in love with this palette so much they're so soft and buttery smooth you swipe once 
and that's all that you need with this eyeshadow palette. And I would say that my third and last most favorite product is 100% the lip set in Lucky Charm. The reason why this would be number three for me is because the only thing that I like in this set really is the lipstick. It is very much a concealer type color lipstick, but it's one of those lipsticks that you can use to lighten up a lip look. Or if you just wanna do a simple nude lip with a darker lip liner and blend it out, it is so gorgeous, so matte, super comfortable, doesn't skip, super opaque. That is pretty much it for my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else you guys do wanna see, please let me know in the comment section down below. As you guys can tell, I don't have makeup behind me. I don't have organizers for my makeup yet, so I will be getting that soon. So if you guys do want to see me organizing all my stuff or stocking my shelves, let me know. I am open to any and every suggestion. I still have a list of everything that I do want to try now that I'm getting back into YouTube again. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I am very, very active on those two platforms as well. So anyway, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. You are not gonna stay. <laughs>